of course I sobbed at the end of Matilda. I had actually seen Matilda the State Musical on stage, so I knew what to expect. I'm a big fan of the soundtrack. I absolutely love it. I did initially have my reservations about the film because I thought maybe it's just a little bit too soon after the 90s film, but I am of the generation who grew up worshipping that film. But honestly, having now seen it, it's just breathtakingly beautiful. It's a, tre a tremendous achievement. And for the first time, and this may be an oversight on my part, but for the first time I was able to look at Matilda's knowledge, her experiences, her abilities as a response to the childhood trauma. And I would never really had that laid out so clearly. And there was one scene in particular that did this for me. Um, I won't go into too much detail about any of the scenes, I don't want to spoil it, but it's the scene when she yells at Miss Trunchbull. And as we see Miss Trunchbull storming towards her, Matilda kind of goes off into her mind and we see her lying down and kind of escaping it mentally. And it's the first time that I've really looked at this story as an example of a child's response to trauma. And I applaud the film for allowing me to view this story in a completely, well, not a completely different way, but certainly with fresh angles. The story, of course, is about a young girl called Matilda who is born to two horrific parents who do not care about her and she escapes in books and becomes exceptionally intelligent. I will be honest, it took me until literally the last scene that the parents are in to realise that Matilda's brother wasn't in this. He is in the stage version. Um, Michael, I'm not entirely sure why they made the decision to cut him out of this, but the fact that I didn't realise until the the last scene the parents were in kind of shows that he wasn't necessary in this and it works regardless. And the rest of the story follows in the traditional story, um, Roald Dahl story, the, the 90s film and then the stage musical. She is basically enamoured of Miss Honey and vice versa. And the entire school has to put up with uh, Miss Trunchbull, the horrific battle axe of a head teacher. And the narrative is beautifully told. It is gorgeous. It didn't really miss out anything that I felt should have been in there. Yes, there are things that I love from the classic film that I wish had been in the stage musical and then in turn this. But as an adaptation of the book, which is what it is, it's utterly stunning. It is visually gorgeous. The opening scene at the hospital really lays the foundations for how fabulous this is to look at. It is just stunning at every angle. The colours are gorgeous. The choreography is brilliant. Um, the songs, I mean, I've talked about the songs before. I've discussed the soundtrack, but I absolutely love them. And the vocal performances across the board are brilliant. The set designs are exquisite. And... The casting is amazing. Now, I should say, first of all, it's directed by Matthew Warchus, um, written by Dennis Kelly, with the stage musical by Tim Minchin, based, of course, um, on the books by Roald Dahl. And with that amazing crew, um, they've put together a fantastic film that, obviously, if the casting wasn't right, it wouldn't have worked as well. But the casting is just... It's absolutely incredible. For me, Emma Thompson was the first name that I knew attached to this. Big, big fan of Emma Thompson. She is perfect as Miss Trunchbull. Absolutely perfect. I still prefer Pam Ferris's version because for me, that's the iconic Miss Trunchbull. But she is sensational. Alicia Weir is Matilda and she fits the role splendidly. Absolutely perfect, brilliant vocal performances, fabulous facial expressions, really great um, as Matilda, and, and I cannot wait to see what she does next. Miss Honey, I wasn't too sure what to expect, but I have to say Lashana Lynch is just perfect in the role, and I absolutely loved her. Cinder V as Mrs. Phelps, a librarian, I thought she was brilliant. Uh, Stephen Graham and Andrea Riceborough as uh, Mr. and Mrs. Wormwood, I just thought were brilliant as well. The child actors are all brilliant. Um, I, I can't name them all, I'll be here forever, but there are so many of them, so brilliant. Um, if you've seen this on stage, it is a different experience. I think it's more emotional, um, and also visually it's utterly stunning. There are some things that are that I think maybe work better on stage, but here there are certain differences. For example, 
when I saw the stage musical, some of the um, older children were actually played by adults. Be, and I think that's mainly because a lot of the choreography was a very, very intricate. Whereas here, the children are all played by children. And it's just phenomenal to watch them performing. Such amazing talent. I, I knew I'd like the film because I like the stage musical and I love the story of Matilda. I didn't expect to sob like a child at the end of it. It is beautiful. I'm not going to say I prefer it to Mara Wilson's Matilda. I think it's a different experience. And that one for me is nostalgically beautiful this is just an incredible film and is a new firm favorite if you haven't seen it and you've had reservations about seeing it please see it you will love it i'd love to know what you think of it if you haven't seen the stage musical but also if you have which one did you prefer i personally preferred the film but the stage musical is still a phenomenal experience matilda is an absolute gem of a musical film and i will watch this again and again and again. I adored it so much more than I expected.